A round of applause as Hervé Fillon and great singing come into the winner's circle again. I would just wonder how many uh, victories Hervé is going to rack up in a career that he says is going to go to 65. And what about the time on this race? The lifetime mark for great singing going in was 157 and 2 on a 5 8 mile track. I really didn't think she was going to come close to it, but she did just two-fifths of a second off the track, off of her own lifetime mark and, and uh, shattering the one here. Well, I really didn't think she was going to either because it is a cool evening, and the half was in 59 and 2. She trotted her last half in 58 and 2 and trotted her last quarter in 28 and 4 and was strong as ever under slight urging from Hervé Fillion, uh, two ticks off of her off of her lifetime mark, Dave. I do believe if the weather was warmer and we didn't have the kind of wind we had, she could have broke her lifetime mark. And Davidia Hanover was uh, trying gamely on the outside, but just couldn't make it. That was a tremendous mile by Davidia Hanover, because first over is very tough. Right now, let's go to Alan Kirschenbaum and Hervé. Hervé. Hervé Fillion, the victorious driver in tonight's Breeders' Crown. Hervé, great singing, doesn't often show a lot of gate speed out of there. Did you know she could leave like that? Oh, yeah, I always knew she could leave. You know, I just never used it, you know, because, uh, you know, I always had to race from behind. Had, she was handicapped, so, you know. But tonight, you know, the field that she was in, I felt, you know, that she has a good second and a half, the best. So I just didn't just give her racing room and just make sure that there was no mishap, no trouble. So that's why I went to the front. When you're the best, I feel the best way to win it is when you're in front. <laughs> Hervey, we're going to watch the race on the monitor. Why don't you tell us about the race as it was going on? Well, we called, you know, I left out of there when the two horse came at me, you know. I was not so worried about the two horse. I was a little bit leery about Michael on my back, you know, because he's got a top, you know, top mare in there. She's a good mare. And, but around the last turn, I gave him a shot. You know, we came last one twenty eight and four, and uh, she was comfortable all the way, and I was too, because, you know, I warmed her up tonight the faster I ever warmed her up all year. I warmed her up a mile 21, which is not that fast, but she felt good. You know, her, you know, her wheel was, everything was perfect for her. Did you ever feel like you were going to lose this race? No, I tell you, never, no doubt in my mind, never, you know, but you never know. A million things, a million and one things that happened in the horse race. But uh, the mayor was good all the way, but uh, there was no trouble at all. Hervé Fillion wins the Breeders' Crown. Let's go back to Dave Johnson. And I have an idea that great singing is going to be named the divisional champion. What do you think? I think so. After that kind of mile, I do believe so. Well, thanks very much for joining us. It's been a great evening here at Scioto Downs as great singing establishes herself as the uh, favorite. In fact, she's wrapped it up. She is going to win the Breeders' Crown, uh, and she's going to be the divisional winner for aged trotters, uh, uh, mares. And here are the prices, $3, $2.20, and $2.10 for great seeing who was the favorite. Davidia Hanover paying $3 and $2.20, and Scotch Notch A, $2.20 to show. The official order of finish there from top to bottom. Breeders' Crown 86, the aged mare trot, has been brought to you by...